Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to enable your console in CS2 and how to fix the problem where you click on the console button but it still doesn't work or it doesn't pop up. Now, here, let's just get into it. So, first of all, open up your CS2 and then go to the settings page. Go to right here and now go to game. And in game you should see enable developer console. Make sure that this is on yes and then go to your keyboard and mouse. Then go to UI keys and here you'll see the toggle console button. Normally this is default the button that's under escape or next on the left of your one key. This can be different on keyboards but usually it's that key. You could always change it to another key. And if we now go back in the game, press on that key, you should see your console like this. Now some people have the problem that they click on the key, they know it's the right key but it still doesn't work. Well in order to fix that, then the problem is maybe that it's off screen somewhere on your second screen, on your second monitor, that happens a lot, or it's just really small. So we're gonna fix this. And in order to do this, we need to close down our CS2. Okay, make sure to quit your CS2 completely and then go to your Steam. So in your Steam app, you need to go to your name and then go to profile. And when you're in profile, you'll see this profile link. So click on this link so it will copy this like this now it's copied then minimize your steam and open up google all right so there will be a link in the description which is steam id finder so you basically just uh, control v your id right your steam thing right here click on submit and then you'll see all these different things steam id steam id 3 steam 30 steam 64 so we will need to keep this page open what you're then going to do is go to your file explorer Go to user C, go to program files 86, and then go to Steam, and then go to user data. Now, some of y'all don't see uh, the Steam folder. What you could do is go to your task manager, go to processes, search for Steam, then click on anything like this, go to details, and then go to the file location. And you should go to Steam, click on Steam right here, and you should be on the same page. So if you now go to user data, then you'll be on the same page, but usually it's just in the user C folder. So right here, you need to go to your Steam ID. And in my case, it's my ID32. I don't know if it's other in other people, but just look at these folders. Look which one is the same. Well, it's this one, one for two, and one for two. So open up, the, open up that one. Then go to 730, open up that one, and then proceed to local, and then go to CFG, and then open up this CS2 underscore machine. So right click on it, go to open with, okay, so make sure to open it with something like notepad, click on okay, and then it should open like this. All right, and now, right now we're gonna search for Panorama, and we should sign Panorama console position and size. And then this is where your console is located. So you will need to change this to something like 30.00, 30.00, and then change this to something like 200.00 to 200.00. Then press Ctrl S or save the file. Close this down, close this down. And now restart your CS2 once again. And we will see that if we now press on the button, our console has chased, changed in size and we can now enter the console. So you can make it bigger like this. And now you will have your console. So if this video has helped you, then I'd say thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel.